Quantum computers can, are powerful enough to survey the entire landscape and give reasonable rebuttals to things that are just outrageous. Quantum computers are the next frontier in computing technology, operating on puzzling principles. This is a quantum leap in processing power that could change the game in a lot of industries. The potential of this state-of-the-art technology has been investigated by NASA's Quantum Computer Project in conjunction with Google. But in an unexpected change of events, NASA decided to shelve its large-scale quantum computer project, a move that shocked the scientific community. The surprise choice was made in response to a string of events that have analysts doubting the future of the nexus between quantum computing and artificial intelligence. Why is the swift advancement of quantum computing causing anxiety for the U.S. government? Why have they taken the extraordinary step of halting their work on quantum computers? Join us as we explore how Google and NASA suddenly shut down their quantum computer project after something terrifying happened. The fast developing field of quantum computing is using the principles of quantum physics to address issues that traditional computers just cannot handle. Particles like electrons and photons can exist in entanglement and superposition at the tiniest scales, which is described by quantum mechanics. These events are utilized by quantum computers to store and alter data in the fundamental building blocks of quantum information, known as quantum bits or qubits. The concept of utilizing quantum systems to execute computations was first put up by physicists, including Yuri Menon, Paul Benioff, and Richard Feynman in the 1980s, marking the beginning of what is now known as quantum computing. The researchers came to the realization that quantum computers may be able to outperform classical computers in solving issues due to the interference and parallelism of quantum states. David Deutsch, demonstrated in 1985 that a universal quantum computer could mimic any physical process with one of the earliest simulations of a quantum computer. The building blocks of quantum computing, known as qubits, are quantum logic gates. These gates are often implemented utilizing physical systems like atoms, trapped ions, photons, or superconducting circuits. A quantum logic gate is an operation that, in accordance with predetermined rules, changes the state of one or more qubits. One can build quantum algorithms that execute targeted operations on qubits by integrating several quantum logic gates. The usage of qubits, which can hold more than simply zeros and ones, distinguishes quantum computing from classical computing. To further enhance the intended results and dampen the undesirable ones, quantum computing employs entanglement to establish correlations between qubits and interference. When it comes to solving specific types of issues, quantum computing offers numerous benefits over classical computing. It uses Shor's method to factor big numbers quickly, which could help crack encryption. Additionally, it has data mining and machine learning implications because it can explore huge databases faster using Grover's technique. Applied in the fields of chemistry, physics, and biology, Quantum computers outperform classical computers in simulating quantum systems. In addition to improving AI and machine learning applications, quantum computing may take on difficult optimization challenges. There are numerous domains where quantum computing could be useful. Optimizing combinatorial problems, simulating quantum systems, searching unsorted databases, and factoring big numbers are all possible with its help. Classification, Clustering, regression, and reinforcement learning are just a few of the AI and machine learning applications that potentially benefit from quantum computers. Quantum computing may also improve computer vision, natural language processing, and cryptography. When it comes to quantum computing, Google's quantum computers are right up there with the best of them. For high fidelity and low crosstalk operations, they construct and operate qubits using superconducting circuits. Through the usage of their CERC framework, Google's quantum processors may be used to program and simulate quantum circuits. Error correction, noise mitigation, optimization, and benchmarking are just a few of the areas that developers and academics can investigate with cycles. 
Sycamore and other Google quantum processors have surpassed classical computers in quantum supremacy, completing tasks in a reasonable amount of time that would be inconceivable for them. The process of creating a quantum computer serves as a living, breathing example of all the things about our universe that we still do not fully comprehend. Although the cosmos functions essentially at a quantum level, it is not how humans see it. What we see in nature on a surface level is often at odds with the rules of quantum physics. Quantum physics features, however, have tremendous promise for the computer industry. New computations become possible as computing capabilities are increased. Our quantum computer proved its superiority by completing a test computation in 200 seconds that had previously taken the most advanced supercomputers thousands of years to complete using their best known techniques. Only by exerting such precise control over the qubits are these huge speeds possible. Although our experiment demonstrated that quantum computers can beat classical computers on a vast scale, it also proved that these computers are mistake prone. For individuals engaged in the realm of science and technology, this is the long awaited hello world moment, the most significant achievement thus far in the pursuit of achieving quantum computing. But there's a long way to go until tomorrow's practical applications are based on today's lab trials. A wider range of real world applications won't be implemented for a long time. Consider today's headlines through the lens of the first rocket to successfully escape Earth's gravity and reach the edge of space. Why waste time and money sending humans into space if they won't return with anything useful? But it was a first for science, as it opened our minds to a whole new world of space travel, to other galaxies, the Moon, and Mars. It framed the seemingly impossible and showed us what was feasible. A quantum computer built by Google can conduct calculations in an instant that would take the top supercomputers 47 years to do the same. This is a major step forward in proving that experimental machines can beat their more traditional counterparts. This most recent innovation from Google is supposedly beyond the capabilities of existing classical supercomputers. Advocates of quantum computing argue that by harnessing the peculiarities of quantum physics, they may build extraordinarily powerful machines that help combat climate change and develop innovative pharmaceuticals. Nevertheless, they are a top concern for national security since they could compromise modern encryption systems. Google made a bold claim five years ago. They will be the first corporation to reach quantum supremacy, the point at which quantum computers outperform all other machines. Competitors at the time protested, saying Google was overstating the machine's superiority over more conventional supercomputers. Now published on the open access research website, Arshuf, the company's paper, Phase Transition and Random Circuit Sampling, showcases a more robust gadget with the intention of putting an end to the discussion. The next-gen gadget has 70 qubits, the fundamental building blocks of quantum computers compared to the 2019 machine's 53. Because the power of a quantum computer increases exponentially with the number of qubits it contains. The new machine is 241 million times more powerful than the one that was in 2019. The researchers said it would take Frontier, the world's leading supercomputer, 6.18 seconds to match a calculation from Google's 53-qubit computer from 2019. In comparison, it would take 47.2 years to match its latest one. Additionally, the researchers assert that their most recent quantum computer outperforms demonstrations made by a renowned Chinese facility. In order to keep doing operations, larger quantum computers can handle noise, interference that could disturb the delicate states in which qubits function, as shown in Google's paper. The researchers determined that their demonstration falls squarely within the realm of quantum computations that go beyond classical theory. Google has come a long way to reach this point. This discovery brings us closer to the day when we can use quantum computers to do things like develop better batteries, synthesize fertilizers with less energy, and identify chemicals with medicinal potential. A number of libraries and tools for quantum computing are available from Google. By integrating with CERC and TensorFlow, 
the open source package TensorFlow Quantum enables users to build quantum neural networks and quantum data pipelines. Google has created yet another open source library called Open Fermion, which is used to mimic fermionic systems through the compilation and analysis of quantum algorithms. These programs offer developers and researchers frameworks that are both accessible and adaptable, and they are built to be used with Google's quantum hardware platforms. On the other hand, there are many who think quantum computing is doomed to fail. Mathematically, it is impossible to maintain the stability of enough qubits to perform substantial calculations or processing. All hope of quantum computers one day finding miraculous new medications or breaking public encryption schemes is in vain. Even if quantum computers have maintained getting smarter and having more qubits, that has been the message from so-called quantum skeptics for the past 10 years or more, including scientists like Mikhail Diakonov from the University of Montpellier and Gil Kalai from Hebrew University. Nowadays, most experts believe that the question today is when, not if, a large-scale quantum would appear that can crack public encryption systems using Shor's technique. The first quantum computer company to go public, IonQ of Maryland, was attacked, and its share price was driven down by a group of offshore short sellers called Scorpion Capital. The risk is that people will learn from this vicious and misleading campaign that the current quantum industry is all hype and no substance, which could put our national security at risk. Nobody can fool the federal government, that much is certain. Two presidential orders pertaining to quantum technology were issued by the White House nearly simultaneously, with Scorpion's attempt to eliminate IonQ. One of these bills, approved in 2018, creates a new quantum advisory committee to guide the next phase of the National Quantum Initiative, which aims to accelerate progress in quantum computing and related fields of information science. Following a memorandum from January comes the second, National Security Memorandum 10. Government agencies are given a string of deadlines to prepare their information systems for the imminent arrival of quantum computers, a time frame that cybersecurity experts have informed the Congressional Research Service may be anywhere from 2030 to 2040, or perhaps sooner. Also, IT giants like IBM and Microsoft aren't backing down from their multi-billion dollar quantum investments, especially after the success of Google's computer, which proved it could tackle problems that even the fastest supercomputers couldn't. China is spending four times as much on quantum computing than the United States government is and is strengthening its communication networks to withstand any future attack by quantum computers. Neither are the governments of Europe or the European Union. Quantum Alliance initiative assessments, meantime, have shown the enormous costs that would result from our electrical grid and financial sectors being unprepared on that day. The commercial sector has been roused to action by these studies, which demand that they incorporate the post-quantum cryptography standards, also known as quantum-resistant algorithms, into their encrypted data networks and systems. Ironically, quantum skeptics discovered a voice with Scorpion Sting right in the midst of all this quantum activity. The qubit revolution is actually happening right now, rather than being some far-off concept, thanks to quantum hybrid systems. However, there is still a risk that investors may be scared off by assaults like Scorpion, which tarnish the entire quantum enterprise. The quantum industry has seen an unprecedented influx of venture capital funding in recent years, with over $3 billion invested in the year 2021 alone. Due to that, a great number of new businesses have been able to advance the field of quantum computing. If those funds disappear, the United States quantum sector will fall behind and stagnate, while China's continues to make great strides. Now we get to the second threat. Worst case scenario, governments and businesses alike start to believe that massive quantum computers can't crack codes and decide to delay securing data and networks with post-quantum cryptography or entanglement-based quantum cryptography, which effectively makes communication links unhackable. This could have serious consequences for national security. A confrontation with the United States quantum industry could have far-reaching effects unless the industry's businesses and research institutions prove they are unfazed 
and convince the public that quantum technology's promising future is based on real progress, not empty promises, and will ultimately lead to greater security, prosperity, and optimism for the future. Meanwhile, scientists are reeling from the shocking news that NASA has suddenly stopped funding and working on its quantum computing research. Concerns about the quantum computer's unanticipated and possibly harmful powers led to the extraordinary decision, which was made in conjunction with the U.S. government. The vast quantum computing project that NASA launched set out to investigate the possibilities of this game-changing technology for interplanetary travel. The goal of the program was to create quantum algorithms that could improve communication networks, optimize spacecraft trajectories, and possibly create new materials specifically for use in space. A sudden end to NASA's quantum computing research was caused by an unexpected event that occurred during a daily test. A previously intractable problem was solved by the quantum computer, which demonstrated an unprecedented degree of computational capability while analyzing a complex simulation. But this astounding success came with a similarly worrisome side effect. The quantum computer started producing illogical and unintelligible outputs. The quantum computer's unusual behavior alarmed scientists and government authorities, who wondered if it had entered a new dimension of processing or communicated with aliens. U.S. officials and NASA moved quickly to cease operations and launch an exhaustive inquiry due to the dangers posed by the unpredictable and powerful machine. The termination of NASA's quantum computing program is a sobering reminder of the enormous promise and peril of this emerging technology. The potential for quantum computing to transform many industries, such as healthcare, science and engineering must not be underestimated. However, much care must be exercised to keep these extremely powerful devices under control. It is clear from this episode that there has to be international discussion and collaboration regarding the regulation and advancement of quantum computing. To guarantee the responsible and beneficial use of quantum technology, open communication and cooperation across states can aid in the establishment of ethical standards and protections. The sudden termination of NASA's quantum computer experiment highlights the difficulties and risks associated with quantum technology. Elon Musk, Michio Kaku, and others in the scientific community have long voiced concerns about the risks associated with unbridled advancements in artificial intelligence and quantum computing. For all intents and purposes, artificial intelligence poses a greater threat than nuclear weapons, according to theoretical physicist Kaku. Artificial intelligence is his main point of discussion, since according to him, it is improving at an exponential rate and can do far more than most people think. According to Elon Musk, AI is much more dangerous than nuclear warheads, mark my words. AI is much more dangerous than nuclear weapons, and I'm trying to convince people to slow down the development of AI and regulate it. Putting uncertainty about AI and quantum technology to rest, could this unexpected shutdown have been caused by any hidden risks or unintended repercussions in the world of quantum computing? Concerns about possible attacks on encryption systems are paramount. The enormous processing power of quantum computers makes them capable of cracking conventional encryption schemes. Concerns about the safety of confidential information and financial records were heightened by this. In the realm of quantum computing, decoherence is one of many obstacles. When a system's behavior shifts from being explicable by quantum mechanics to being explicable by classical physics, this transition is called decoherence. It occurs when quantum coherence is lost. When quantum systems interact with their surroundings, decoherence happens because the systems lose their superposition of states and calculations become inaccurate. Google is developing a number of methods, including error correction codes, fault tolerance structures, dynamical decoupling approaches, and optimum control strategies to safeguard quantum systems against decoherence. In order to make quantum processors more efficient and scalable, new hardware designs and methods are still required. Furthermore, there will be far-reaching consequences for future space travel and technological development. 
It was believed that quantum computers would be pivotal in enhancing decision-making in cosmic conflicts, optimizing space missions, and simulating and modeling celestial events. The intergalactic tango of artificial intelligence and quantum computing is obviously fraught with peril. It is an astronomical problem to find ways to advance computing while also safeguarding the digital environment of our cosmos. Not much is known at this time, but one thing is certain. The United States government has intervened over worries about the potential societal impacts of combining artificial intelligence with quantum computers, putting NASA's quantum computer research on hold. But there's still a long way to go, and as long as there's an insatiable thirst for information, the scientific community will keep digging deeper into the cosmos, hoping to solve its riddles. The future holds both incredible discoveries and possible dangers that demand our combined attention and caution as we stand at the crossroads of artificial intelligence and quantum computing. There is a lot of room for growth and development in the field of quantum computing, but nobody knows what the future holds. Cryptography, optimization, AI, and quantum chemistry are just a few of the many scientific and technological fields that might be profoundly affected by the advent of quantum computing. What is feasible in the realm of quantum computing has been expanded by Google's innovations and contributions. Despite Google's decision to end its quantum computer research, other organizations and businesses will keep pushing the technology forward in the hopes of creating more effective and practical quantum computers. The discipline can only advance, and quantum technology's potential fully realized through collaboration and the exchange of knowledge and resources. Quantum computing completes computing in many respects. It provides us with a new language to communicate with the cosmos and a window into the world, and humankind beyond the binary realm of numbers, into all their rich complexity and boundless potential. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.